Today's video is sponsored by Muse Beauty Pro. I'm really excited to share my collab with you that I did with them and as well share with you my favorite deals from their holiday shop, which you guys are gonna love, okay? <laughs> so thank you Muse for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into it. Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. As you can tell from today's title, huge video for me. This is the most exciting video I have ever filmed. I've been doing YouTube for f almost four years now. I am doing my very first brand collaboration. I am so grateful. I cannot believe this. So I collaborated with Esam to curate my favorite brushes from their collection that I just know you guys are going to love. So my collection is coming out right now as you are watching this video and I'm also going to be talking about some of Muse Beauty Pro's holiday promotion deals as well. But let's start off with my own set. I think, you know, I've never done another brand collaboration before but I really think of any collaboration I could do, this was probably the easiest collaboration. So if you don't know Esam, they are actually the brand that Muse Beauty Pro has. Don't know Isam is Muse backwards and I've been working with Muse Beauty for such a long time, probably about a year into my channel. I started working with them when I was very very small. They were kind to send me some Vizier eyeshadows which was unbelievable to me at that time and over the years they have been so kind to me. They believed in my channel when I was quite small. I've done so many videos covering their products, the items that they sell. I use their products in my makeup kit and in my everyday routine. So when they came to me about curating a brush set for you guys, it was a no-brainer. And because I've been using Esam's products for so long, picking the brushes, easy breezy. <laughs> like I knew right away, I was like, I want this brush, this brush, this brush, this brush, this brush, and this brush. And alas, today I have partnered with Esam to curate a six piece brush set that's going to create a full face for you. Just so you know, this is a limited brush collection with limited quantity and it's only going to be available until December 26th. So it's great for a gift and like I said, it's limited. This is the only time that you can get it. If you do choose to order my set, let's go over what it's going to come with. I can't believe it, you guys. This is my set right here. It's gonna come in a black bag. Esam X Morgan Turner makeup. And then on the inside, wrapped around the brushes is going to be a special card for you guys. You can see Esam X Morgan Turner makeup with my favorite picture of myself. And then my six brushes are going to be nice and protected in here. Let's go over the brushes that I specifically picked for you guys. Like I said, I've been using Esam brushes virtually every day for a few years now. I have double if not triple of everything because I actually use Esam in my professional makeup kit. If you don't know, I am a bridal makeup artist. And then I also, of course, have a set for myself that I like to use. And through all of this experience I've had with these brushes, I knew exactly which brushes I wanted to put in a set for you guys that are going to really enhance your makeup routine and make application quick and easy. My favorite thing about Esam brushes is how high quality they are. I genuinely believe if you buy a good quality makeup brush, it's going to last your entire life. And I just know Esam brushes are going to stand the test of time. And all of them are sturdy and well made. If you aren't familiar with Esam brushes, they all are going to come with a platinum rolled breast ferrule, which is right here and then all of the handles are birch wood. Each of the brushes were designed by a professional makeup artist which is why I as a professional makeup artist find that I love the shapes of these. Working every weekend I am constantly washing my brushes. These brushes go through a lot of wear and tear. Nothing has ever broke. It's this is why I feel so confident in Esam brushes if you've never tried them. So let's go over the brushes that I specifically chose. 
So the first brush that I picked that I knew I had to have is the X51. This is just a large rounded powder brush. I do have a small face, but this is the size of it compared to my face. You get it, it's gonna be a little bit more compact, but you know, I this has been used a ton. <laughs> so it really rounds out after you wash it, which I love very much. It's hard to see, but it does have a little bit of a taper at the end, which is going to help with getting into more precise and direct areas on your face. This is made of of fine goat hair which really makes it easy to pick up powder so I like to use this for multiple reasons one probably my most favorite use for this is bronzer application I love a big fat bronzer brush and I know all of us are always looking for the perfect bronzer brush and I just feel like this is the perfect shape to get a really diffused bronze look it really does a lot of the blending for the bronzer itself because of the perfect shape it's not too big it's just dense enough to pick up the product and it's dense enough to blend it, but it still doesn't apply it too much product. So I find that it's great for an easily blended bronzer look. I also, in today's video, used it to apply an all over powder because it's just a great, I mean, all over powder brush. That's what we use our big fluffy brushes. So this is a perfect combination of a fluffy brush, but you still have full control over your application. The next brush that I picked out was the X52. This is, Oh, this brush is so versatile and so good. So this is another rounded brush that has a little bit of a point towards the end. This is my do-it-all brush. You can do anything on the face with this brush. So this one is also fine goat hair. And what I love about it is how versatile. So I also will use this for bronzer application. It's just a little bit more precise for days that I want to carve the cheeks or I have a little bit more time to focus on a little bit more blending. It's my favorite, favorite blush brush. Again, the fine goat hair is really great for picking up the perfect amount of powder and blending it out. And even today, I also use it to set the under eyes. It's not too big to get under there. You can set the T-zone with this. You can even use it for highlight. This is my do-it-all brush. If you are traveling, this is a must-have to travel with because you can do anything with this brush. I find that in a lot of powder brushes, a shape like this is not very popular. Now, don't get me wrong, I do have brushes that have a more rounded shape like this, but they're not popular enough in my opinion. The rounded shape makes application on the face so much easier and seamless. It's like right away, this is the perfect blush application. Not too much blending is needed. You know, it fits the curvatures of the face perfectly. When I was thinking of what brushes I wanted to do, I wasn't too sure that I wanted to have two brushes that were the same shape but different sizes. But I just find that I use both of these two hand in hand all the time. And I wanted to stay true to brushes that I truly love. And I just think not a lot of us have brushes that are nice and round like this. They're just not as popular. There's a lot of like angled brushes and brushes that are a little bit more pinched at the bottom. The shape of these brushes fit the face perfectly. So I had to have both of them, a bigger brush and a smaller brush. Perfect. <laughs> okay, the next brush that I picked out. This is the W25 brush. And this looks like a big brush. Like it's kind of awkward. Like do you use it on the eyes? Do you use it on the face? So this is a brush that I use on every single one of my makeup clients. I use it on every one of my personal applications. So this is sable hair, which means it is great for creams and liquids. And this is the perfect brush to blend out concealer. And you guys know I'm a sponge girl. But for those days that I really want full coverage, this blends concealer out seamlessly. It doesn't leave any streaking behind and it's so quick. So the shape really does allow for you to get as close to the lash line as you can and it's so easy to blend out your concealer and almost shape the face. Like I said, I use this on 100% of my makeup clients to blend out their concealer because it's that good. Never any streaking, it's perfect. Now for more of my personal applications, I like to use this to apply eye primer. It's the perfect size to just blend it out very quickly on the eyelid and it's not gonna tug like your fingers. If you use your fingers to apply eye primer, I find that you tug on the eye a lot and you just don't wanna do that. You know, it causes premature aging. This is a very quick and easy way without getting your fingers dirty and without tugging at the skin. So things like MAC Paint Pot, I use the Viseart Eye Primer today. It's perfect to spread it out. I don't like to get my fingers dirty with eye primer, so I love this for that. So I use this personally for liquid products. 
all around the eye area. Use it to blend out concealer and my eye primer. So the last three are kind of more eye brushes and I have smaller eyes. I know compared to my face, you guys are like, you don't have small eyes. My face is small, <laughs> so all of me is small. So a lot of the blending brushes that are on the market today, I find are too big for me. All of the brushes that I picked out for the eyes are a little bit on the smaller eyes, especially for those of you who have hooded eyes and they're also smaller to help you create more detailed looks as well. So the main blending brush that I wanted to pick for you guys was the V33. So this is actually from their vegan collection, so this does have synthetic fibers, and I want you to see the comparison to my eye. It's just big enough to give you that all over transition blend, but it also is still small enough to give you that outer corner blend, as well as being able to apply this along the lower lash line. It's not going to be too big if you have smaller eyes. If you do have larger eyes and a bigger surface area, this is going to be great for the outer V, the outer corner, and the lower lash line. It's just a very versatile blending brush. Not a ton of companies, in my opinion, create blending brushes that are small enough, so this one is perfect. And because it has synthetic fibers, if you're into using liquid shadows, it also is great to blend out liquid shadows as well. So I definitely wanted to give an ode to my small features and pick a small blending brush. Okay, so now let's Let's talk about the ultimate eyeshadow brush. Everybody needs a shader brush. So this is the W21 brush. It actually is a much smaller version of the 25 brush that I already have in the collection. I said that this brush was great for cream, but these fibers are also great for powder. If you missed it, this is sable hair. But the sense of sable hair has a little bit more density. It really allows you to dig into an eyeshadow so that you can get full opacity and full shine onto the eyelid. And also because the hairs here are so durable, do not be afraid to get your brush wet 2,000 times over again to apply your lid shade and get the extra shine. It's not going to become flimsy when you get it wet. So it's just a heavy duty eyeshadow brush. I love a denser eyeshadow brush that is not too thick and this isn't too thick because it gives you full control to really pack on that lid color which is so important in a look. So I had to get, put this one in as well. I use it all the time. It is one of my staple eyeshadow brushes. So And everybody needs them and nobody can have too many. So that's why I have this one in here. Okay, the very last brush that I knew I needed to have was a very small detail brushes. Again, this is another type of brush that I feel like not enough makeup companies make. <laughs> so mine looks a little gross right now from using it, but this is the V09 brush. So this is another brush from their vegan collection. So it does have synthetic fibers and you can see it's an itsy bitsy little brush compared to the eyeshadow brush that I just showed you. The thing is, what don't I use this brush for? It can be used for really anything. For today, I use it for that inner corner highlight, under the brow bone, nose highlight. Sometimes I put concealer all over this brush and I use it to clean up the edge of my wings because this is synthetic fibers, so it handles creams and liquids really well. Sometimes I use it to draw out my cut crease. It's thin enough to just create a line as opposed to a cut crease. It can be used to apply eyeliner on your upper lash line. Today, I use it to also blend out lip liner on my lips. Sometimes I'll use it to correct my lip liner and put concealer on there and clean up the line. You can literally use this for eyeliner and you can use it to apply your lip color. And lastly, as if this didn't have enough uses, so you know when you're doing a cut crease and you need a really small brush to get the powder as close to the edge of the concealer as you can, this is perfect for that type of detail work. In terms of doing anything detailed, small work, correction, eyeliner, this guy is perfect. And it also is another one of those do-it-all brushes. And that was something that was so important to me when picking out these brushes is I wanted to make sure that they could be used for more than one purpose. I mean, maybe with the exception of the eyeshadow brush, but this is just so needed. <laughs> but the rest have so many uses for the face. You guys know I'm an overpacker. I would love to have a lot more brushes with me, but let's say it was an emergency. 
these are the only six brushes that you are going to need. So anyways, <laughs> I hope you like the six brushes that I picked out for you guys. They truly, truly are my favorites. As you can see by my explanations, I have so many stories and so many examples of different ways that I have used these brushes. I've had them for at least three to four years now. And if you do take the time to purchase these brushes, I truly appreciate it and I thank you so much for your support and even if it's not in your budget right now just appreciate you taking the time to support my channel and watch this video and like it and comment because obviously I wouldn't have created this if it weren't for you guys which is why I created it for you guys so it is available right now on the Muse Beauty Pro website and fun fact if you order my brush collection you also can get 20% off the Esam brush book which I've told many a tales about <laughs> this guy because it's so good. It's easy to keep clean. You can throw a bunch of products in this well over here and then, you know, you have so much space to put your pencils, your brushes, everything. This is the ultimate overnight travel makeup bag in my opinion. If I'm going like for a short weekend somewhere, I put all of my makeup in here. It's fabulous. It's robust. I love it. I'll talk about it later because it's in one of the holiday deals. So guys, I just talked for a half hour about six brushes. <laughs> so let's move on to the Muse Beauty Pro holiday promotion. I have covered every single one that they've had ever since I've been aware because this is one of my favorite sales of the year. You guys know Viseart Stan over here. This is where I've been able to stock up on basically every Viseart palette. There's a lot of other great deals here as well and I'm going to share my favorites with you. So if you don't know what their holiday promotion is, basically Muse has a curated selection of deals during what they call their holiday shop which is going to have deals of up to 60% off. And if you pick up any items that are not in the holiday shop, the site is also 15% off. So let's say you wanted to pick up an Esam eyeliner, you could get 15% off of that. So deals on top of deals. <laughs> they even have a couple of BOGO deals, buy one, get one. So let me see. There are buy one, get one free offers for the first time on Ket Cosmetics. I use Ket a lot in my makeup kit. They have great cream palettes. I even today used their powders. I use this in my makeup kit. I totally stole it from my makeup kit to do a little example, but you can see I like this a lot. I really like this powdered set makeup. They do have a lot of other awesome stuff. So buy one, get one free is a really great deal. They also are having a buy two, get one free for Danessa Myricks as well. So those are like the broad deals. Let's get into the sets that I love and they have cute names, so I'm gonna say them. <laughs> so here are my picks for you, which is almost like all of them, almost. <laughs> So the first deal is going to be the For Me and For You set. This one's going to be $49 and in this set you can buy any two Vizzy Art Pettit 4s and an Esam V09 liner diffuser brush. So that brush you're going to get is the little detail brush that I talked about at the end. It's that really small one. And the Pettit 4s, they have quite a lot. Well, eight now, I believe at this point. And guess what's included? The new ones that just came out right now. I'm wearing peridot on my eyelids that's the green that's on my eyes and then I use bouillon for my highlight on my face and on my eyes I love these I definitely recommend you check out my review but you get to pick any two that you want I love Viseart's formula because it really is so easy to use they last forever on the eyes perfect level of pigmentation and it's just one of the most trusted formulas within the makeup artist community I use mostly Viseart in my makeup kit because they work on everybody. They're not too pigmented. They're the perfect blendability. It's just one of those great middle of the road formulas, you know, not too pigmented, not too sheer, not too shimmery, not too flat, not too creamy, not too dry. It's just that happy middle ground that's going to work great for everybody in every body skin type. So what's great about this set and why it's called for me and for you is it's great for stocking stuffers and to give maybe to two different people or keep one for yourself, give to your friend. And they're just so tiny and cute. Like what a good stocking stuffer. That's a $62 value for $49. So that's a good set to look into. The next set that I love is the Holiday Selfie Ready set. It is $59. And so in that set, you're going to get a Glamcore Ricky Q cutie little handheld mirror. Let me show you. You also get a charging cord USB for it and a cute little case to protect it in your purse. So this is the perfect do your makeup on the go mirror. 
It is nice and small. It's going to fit into your purse. You pull this part out and there's like two finger holes for you to keep it steady. And it has really good makeup lights. So it's definitely perfect to touch up. And it's also going to come with two brushes. Let me grab them. So take a look. This is the Esam 19 and the Esam T20. These are really great lip brushes for you to touch up with with your cute little mirror. So I thought this one was a cute set. This is $59 and it has a $79 value. Okay, let's get into some more Viseart deals. So we have the Grande Wonderland. This is $150. So you are going to get the Viseart Grande Pro Volume 1 X and your choice of any Esam dual eye pencil and an Esam V31 and V27 brush. That's a lot for $150. Do you know how expensive this palette is on its own? The value of this is $220. So if you're not familiar with the Grande Pro 1X, you can see I quite love mine. This is my go-to eyeshadow palette in my makeup kit. I pretty much start, I want to say like 90% of my clients off with this palette or I grab a shade from here. It's an all matte palette, but it has all of those true basics that you're going to need. Again, it's that great busy art formula. Now you might not be as familiar with the eye pencils. I actually used the brown and gold one today. Very nice formula. Again, I use these on my make in my makeup kit. I'm so annoying. I'm going to keep saying that, but I do because they're double sided. So they have a metallic side on one side and then more of a flat color on the other. So the flat colors are going to be brown, plum, and black. And then there's going to be a flattering metallic on the other side to brighten up maybe in the tight line. So today I'm wearing the brown and gold. I have the gold in my waterline and I have the brown on my upper lash line. It lasts a really long time, so I think you'll like this set. Parisian Eyes. This is my number one most favorite set that I recommend every single time it's available because you're not going to get a better deal on the Viseart 12 pans. They're quite pricey, but they are so good. So the Parisian Eyes is going to be $128. In this set, you get any two Viseart 12 pan eyeshadow palettes that they have available and an Esam V31 and V33 makeup brush. $220 value. That is almost $100 in savings. And one of these guys is $80 alone. My favorite deal, because you can't go wrong with a 12 pan from Viseart. Some of the ones that I love and which ones do I not love? But you know, the neutral mattes is a classic. It's a great way to have any of the matte colors that you're really going to need for a neutral eye look. Sultry Muse is going to be like the shimmery version of that. Any kind of neutral shimmery color that you're going to need, it's in here. If you want to run a little bit warm, neutral matte milieu is great. Lots of options. You should definitely take a look. It's a fabulous deal. Probably the number one deal that I recommend for you if you want to try out Vizzy Art because best value in my opinion. The next set that I did want to mention is the Vizzy Art Tanzu set. So this one is going to be $88. And for this one, you buy any two Vizier Eton Dew palettes. Remember, you get to pick which two you want. And you get the choice of any Esam dual eye pencil. Again, really great. You have purple, brown, black, and an Esam V27 brush. Again, another really great deal. And what I'm excited about is the two new Vizier Eton Dew palettes are included in this one, Bijouette, Kashmiri. I love these. I've been ranking them very, very highly. Also, another one I recommend, Violette Etendu. I love the size of these. They're nice and small, but you still get a really good amount of color. This one has a $132 value, and I think the Etendus are probably my favorite sizes, and I think they come out with the most fun color stories, so that one is a fun one. Okay, this is the last Viseart eye set that I'm going to talk about. There's just so many good ones. So this is the Sweet and Petite. It's $29. Very affordable, would make a great gift. So you can buy any Viseart Petite Pro eyeshadow palette, and you get your choice of an eye pencil. The Petite Pros are going to be this size. I don't have all of them. These are the most travel-friendly palettes you will find. You get eight colors at such a time tiny little size and you get an eye pencil. So I think it's just a cute little deal. Deal would make a good gift. Okay, and the final, I promise you, last Vizzy Art set is the Get Cheeky for $64. If you buy any Vizzy Art blush palette, you get an Esam V50 angled brush. So this brush is not in my kit, so it will be new to you if you don't have it already. It's a very nice blush brush. It's a synthetic hair. It fits perfectly into the wells of the Vizzy Art blush, which I do really 
really like this. I love mixing colors. I personally have the shade Rose and Coral. They do have, I believe, a couple other colors of this. I like this blush palette, and I like this blush brush, so I thought I'd mention that. I tried to get through these as fast as I could, but my last set that I want to mention, if you travel a lot, if you're a makeup artist, this one is for you. So this is called the On The Go set. It's $125. I've talked about this before. It's the Esom Pro Makeup Kit Bag and the Esom Brush Book. I definitely recommend that you check out my Bridal Makeup Artist Kit because I go into full detail about the Pro Makeup Kit Bag. I'll show you. Mine's kind of gross. We're at the end of bridal season, so it's been through it. But this fits and protects a lot of makeup you guys super easy to clean and it's great for travel even if you're not a makeup artist because you can put toiletries in here makeup chargers whatever it doesn't hair stuff it doesn't have to just be for makeup and it has a nice hard but still kind of soft shell so it's going to protect your makeup that's my favorite like big time makeup travel bag it's my makeup kit it holds about 80 percent of the most important makeup that i use it's just so easy to zip open open it up. I set it down on my table and I zip open all of the containers inside. I love it personally. Makeup Artist in Me is coming out and recommending this to you because it's awesome if you're a makeup artist. And then you also are going to get the Esam brush book in here, which is my mini weekend makeup travel bag. So these are just really great bags to travel with or whatever you need to use them. So I do recommend that. And there we have it. I mean, if you made it to the end, Thank you. I really just felt like I talked about a lot of things that I'm really passionate about. A huge thank you to Muse Beauty and Esam for wanting to work with me and, and believing in me enough. And thank you to you guys so much for your support. So that's all I have for today's video. And obviously thank you Muse for <laughs> sponsoring today's video. I highly recommend you check out their holiday shop. Check out my brush set. It would mean so much to me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.